morning everybody uh, we are back again it's tuesday as usual the show is called tbr solution sports forum <clears throat> it's myself and the usual suspect shakes mangova going i'm sure you saw earlier when we started the show he was so excited uh, he was dancing in the stand together with anthony lafo because they were bearing kaiser <laughs> chief shakes welcome to the show and how are you thanks for having me on the show um uh, yeah no it was it was a lovely weekend had a good time yeah yeah and this say your picture is quite beautiful now i hope you are audible let me welcome you in quickly so that i can hear you shakes your your mic is a little bit uh unstable i don't know what's happening um do you say yes sir. yeah oh yeah yeah you are quite well and audible we also have g man a sundowns a sundown i have about yeah. how many sundown shakes g man and this about bagi le brawam ne ngona ngi defend me out in zoba society in lakho i'm 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 hard not to crack Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you saw how excited Shakes was, but this weekend it was very, very uh, exciting. It was not only uh, Sundowns that won or Chiefs that lost, also Pirates lost. I don't know whether it's a Soweto 11 that is losing, because sometimes i always argue and say uh, maybe sundowns needs so at 11 and then uh, let's see uh, let's start here <clears throat> mshege i saw that you were so excited and you were at the stadium but let me start with mudise mudise yes <clears throat> if 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 i'm in opposition i don't think kaiser chiefs is bad uh, i think kaiser chiefs is um, it's it's in a recovery phase as Kaiser Junior would say uh, they are recovering as compared to rebuilding so what's your take what was the major problem no. uh, on Saturday first, yeah first yeah. I uh, so brief for having me in the show oh, and I would like, to, I would like to, to to greet my fellow uh, uh, Sundowns uh, guys there uh, I know they are happy. Prasopri, are you with me? I'm definitely with you, my brother. Don't worry if you don't see my, my face. Okay. Uh, don't okay. worry, I'm still there. Yes, I know they are happy. Uh, yeah. But all in all, remember that uh, we are playing against the, the defending champions, mm. uh, the oil machine team. Uh, remember that uh, we are supporters. Uh, 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 I mean, I can't say umuntu moto aruton sharper. Then I stand back, Kiran Sharp. I must defend my for as well. You see. Yeah, sure. We sure, knew sure. it. Some of us, we knew it. We knew it that <laughs> it will end up like this. And then, <laughs> you see, but I can't go. I I, I can't go. I can't go in uh, in front of those sunflops people to say I've very. Yeah. No, 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 no. You see, but anyway, anyway, it was a good game. Remember that I told you, even Shakes, no, I, I even told you guys that the game it will be determined by 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, and then it, it happened like that. Uh, the Sunflops uh, score yeah. uh, goals in, in first 15 minutes. It's where we have Basmu Barbulaile da this meant the Sunflops. So it's a fifth, <laughs> first 15 minutes ball fit. <clears throat> but Mudise, I, yes. I'm, I'm on your side. Now, 
I don't see that Chiefs has done well, bad. In fact, yeah. Chiefs was doing well. You know what happened? This is my analysis. Uh, yes. Guys will agree or disagree with me. These young stars, Basha Twiggy stayed fright. Yeah. Yo, yo, Gezana, yeah. the middle field, uh, there was stage fright. Stage fright in the sense that they've never played in front of such a big crowd. Yes. Remember, yes. some of them, they just came in after lockdown, which was there for three years, and mm. were playing the empty stadium. So they were good, good uh, goosebumps. Shakes, yes. no. Shakes has played in front of the crowds, and Shakes has already indicated that even if you have played many games, the goosebumps don't stop. So you can imagine if you are playing for the first time. I think that that, yeah. that was the problem with Kaiser Chief. The first goal, Ngezana, was trying to be too perfect. He didn't want to make any mistakes. All right? So that is why he thought by controlling it, the ball, not to uh, push it hard, you know, it will be fine. You, you see, so that's what happened. That, that's my analysis. And then in the middle of the park, they were losing balls because of the mm. same problem. And you can't lose balls when you are playing sandals. And the sandals yeah. players, they are used to that crowd. Not only that crowd, the majority of them, they have played in Africa, where it's yeah. more hostile. Than, uh, mm -hmm. than than here, so that mm -hmm. came to the picture. But for me, Chiefs are coming up, and 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 what I like, Arthur spoke very well. Because even if uh, you have lost, don't show that you are panicking. Remember, you as the head, once you panic and start crumbling, what about your followers? Yeah. Right? And then uh, and then I saw even uh, Kaiser Junior came out in support to say, no, 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 there's no panic. We are on course. That's, that's the message that they want to hear. And, and, and Kaiser Chiefs is not bad. And for me, that is why I saw uh, he doesn't play and goes in the peel and go. Because he's a youngster. You don't want to kill him. You start mm -hmm. him early, he makes mistakes, and then it kills mm -hmm. him forever. Give him 15 minutes. He'll be edging to play. And the boys yeah. stabilized the middle field of the Kaiser Chiefs. That was the problem that I picked up with Kaiser Chiefs. I hear Chiefs fans are complaining about Kune and Bavuma. Guys, we need to be fair. You'll never know. Bavuma has been doing well prior to the game. So you'll never know uh, when, when, when the player is going to crumble. But at the same time, Bavuma, I think, lack of experience compared to Kune. But you need to understand again, when we talk about leg of experience, when are you going to get experience? You cannot go to the shop and buy experience, as yeah. John would say, you know? You yeah. must get the experience by play. That's what I noticed. And now, the 15 minutes, as you are saying, it was very, very detrimental. Shakes, as a former footballer, I know that uh, g -Man is, uh, he also wants to come in. Let me hear you, Shakes, as a former footballer. What I've said, the stage fright was a determining fact. Definitely, uh, uh, Prasobri, this was a big game uh, uh, for both teams. You know, Sundowns coming uh, in uh, after losing to TS Galaxy, you know, and Kaiser Chiefs uh, going in with the, with the confidence uh, 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 after winning their game. So it, it was definitely a big game, you know, uh, uh, for both teams. Uh, um, Sundowns really uh, uh, had to win that one. And yeah, uh, um, uh, our previous show that the first, first 15 minutes are going to determine the game, you know. And that's what happened. Uh, when uh, Kaiser Chiefs made that mistake in the first 15 minutes, Sundowns relaxed and they gained that confidence. Now after the 1-0, you know, it wasn't going to be... Uh, 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 the way it went, if that goal didn't come in the first minute, I believe that it, it was going to be a tougher game, you know. And I believe that Chiefs really applied themselves well. Even the mistake in Gazani made, you know, you can see that Atta is trying to make get them to play football, you know. And uh, if you look at the stats, they will tell you that Chiefs had the had the more possession uh, uh, of the game, and the passes also. Uh, uh, had more than sundown. So it shows you that uh, Chiefs are trying to play, even though uh, 
we punish them with those chances and, and the scoreline uh, reflects something different. But if you look at the stats, they'll tell you that uh, Chiefs didn't do too badly and it's only a matter of time. I just think, um, like Machaka said, this game came too early for Kaiser Chiefs uh, because they were playing a Sundowns team that, that hardly ever loses two games in a row, you know, and, and we needed to bounce back as well. Uh, uh, but uh, all in all, uh, uh, Chiefs just need to be more patient with that. I think he's, he's doing something strong. Uh, Jimmy, What's up? your analysis, what do you think, uh, what went wrong? I haven't spoken about Sundowns. You still have to speak about Sundowns, all right? What went yeah. wrong according to you? Uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the opportunity, first and foremost, and, 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 and thanks to the colleagues in this and Chicks there for the great analysis. Um, I think for me, uh, the biggest downfall for Kiza Chiefs was going to this match with uh, confidence. You know, having won their game against uh, Maris Beck United and Sundowns losing their game against TX Galaxy made them sort of think that they were, it's going to be a walk in the park for, for them, you know. And that the plan really, from my analysis, was Kiza Chiefs were hoping to catch Sundowns from counter attacks, particularly where Mudiba and uh, Mudawi playing. But on the day, you could see that the guys were not overlapping the way they were supposed to. Mm-hmm. And I think in, their middle, in the middle of the park where mm-hmm. Yusuf Mart and, 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 and Steve were operating, mm-hmm. they, they were told to play those diagonal balls with the hope that these two would be pushing up, overlapping. And when that didn't happen, they still applied the same tactic, mm-hmm. which didn't work. Either those balls, those balls were intercepted or they went outside. So the, 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 the plan, I would say for me, Kaiser Chiefs didn't work on the day, but for Sundowns, there was nothing unusual that they did. I mean, the first goal we are saying, yes, I committed that error, but it all started with uh, Quinica playing that cross, cross ball. Mm. And Sundowns is playing a high, high press game, and with them not communicating that well, it was bound to happen that they, mm. them starting to play from the back and not comfortable. Those two guys are not comfortable playing from mm. the back. Mm. We are not taking the fact that uh, Coach Arthur wants to play from the back, but the biggest question is, do you have players that are comfortable playing from the back? Mm. Mm. Maybe it's a topic for another day, but from what I saw, it's, it's, it's the philosophy that the Coach Arthur is trying to instill the case achieves is building from the back. And for now, maybe it worked against Maris Beck United, but when you're playing against a high-pressing team like Sundowns, Mm. You need to perfect everything, you know. And, and I think the first goal took a steam out of Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Mm. And even the second, the second goal, um, I, I don't think Martin uh, um, Stebe, they, they, they do cover each other. Mm. I mean, the ball was dispossessed from Matt and immediately now took uh, a, a defense splitting pass to Tushar Lille. Mm. When that ball was dispossessed from Matt, mm. Stebe was nowhere in the picture, you know. Mm. he. Both expo- exposing the defense, mm, mm. and as much as people want to blame Geza and and and, and Quinica, some sort of, I, I just think their midfield, central midfield, mm. they were not protecting their defense mm. in comparison to what uh, Andy Lechal was doing on the other side. Mm. You know? mm. Mudise, uh, let me go yes, back sir. to you. Um, yes. What what are you saying about people who are saying maybe Kuna should have played, uh, maybe Matoho should have played? Uh, what, 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 what I say, uh, you, you are the last one on this topic. Thereafter, we are going to look at Sundowns. What did they do well? No, look, look, look. I know, I know, I know. We are angry, you know, and we are frustrated. Uh, we, are, we we mustn't take our frustration to the team. You, you understand? Because he do. I mean. Irrespective of its trade, what trade, but honestly, uh, he need he need to be matched with. He need to be psychological fit as well mm. to play this uh, this game. I mean, we can't play him a lot, but all in all, uh, the boys are professionals. You see, uh, especially in Gezana, I think now we have more than ten games to more Gaza chiefs. Uh, as a professional, you can't play. A back pass card starts. What I'm trying to say, I mean, really, we can even take a, 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 a soccer ball now, G, 
played with the stats, even even you shakes played with the stats. It can be directed to the person. Mm. I mean, as a last man of the defense, I mean, some they will say, oh, is, 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 is center mm. You could see that there's, um, that there's, there's a player that's Ukfagi Praja. Just keep the ball away. Mm. Uh, you see, this, uh, these mistakes, they are key. You see? Mm. Like, if you can check the, you can check the, the, the Kaiser Chiefs team. We don't have a leader. Mm. That is why, because if, uh, like, we consider that goal, mm. nobody mm. around uh, 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 Chiefs players, mm. nobody come to say, no, come, guys, let's play. Nobody done that. Mm. You see, we were All right. already. Let's move quickly because we are running out of time. We still have to touch okay. on the Pirates. Uh, I wanted right. us to look at Sundowns and Kaiser Chi, but we still have to look at Pirates. Um, right. What did Sundowns do well, Shakes? What did Sundowns do well, according to you? Yeah, Prasov, uh, I just believe, you know, uh, um, like we, we're talking about leadership now, and, and that was something that was lacking in terms of a, a Kaiser Chiefs, you know. So I think the Kune debate could go on for days, you know, but I, I really believe he's a leader, he's somebody who can control there and, 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 and in an atmosphere like the one that was there at the stadium, he could come down the other guys. But anyway, with Sundowns, uh, uh, I think uh, the leadership of your Andile Jali coming back in, you know, and, and stabilizing that midfield, you know. And I just think all the players, they came to the party. You have your Mudau, you know, who, who who's so consistent in that team, you know. And uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the guys that are coming off from the bench, your Sirino, who started, he, he came on, he was switched on. That's how he was able to win that ball, you know, uh, through the high press. So I, I think the, the game plan just came together for sundowns and scoring mm -hmm. early in the game brought down the nerves and, and made them to relax and play mm -hmm. the football that, uh, they are used to, you know, mm. and uh, of course, with the quality that they have also on the bench, uh, uh, you know, anybody can come in there and make a difference. And as we as we saw Abu, Abu Bakr Nasir coming in and, and just uh, uh, doing wonders there, you know, and showing mm. us that uh, he's going to be a player to watch, you know, even though we shouldn't overhype him, you know, because there's still a lot. Yeah. More he can do, so so I don't think we should overhype him. But it, it, it's just good to see that uh, we've got quality like that, you know. Um, Jimmy, That's how it. about people start looking at uh, the scouts? That Sundowns have perfect scouts as compared to other teams. Um, remember, there's still this guy from uh, is it Venezuela? Is that, is, Safran, the one who's injured, very Sa good. Savidra. Savidra. Sa is it Savidra? The one who's injured. Yes. The one who's injured. Yes. All right. Yeah, now it's 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 this guy now, uh, whom they introduced. It shows that the recruitment is quite good. What is the lesson for other teams? And this one is linked now to a team like Orlando Pirates, who also lost in terms of recruitment. If you compare the way Sundowns recruit, you know, at some stage, I listened to um, uh, Rulani. Rulani said uh, the three of them, they sit down and analyze. And when they want the player, they, 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 they sit down and look at the position where they want the player. And then they, 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 their net opens up and check and profile that player. And when they bring the player, the player suits uh, that well. I'm saying this with Orlando Pirates. Remember, at some point, Dr. Ivan Koza said, we buy players, coach must coach. All right? And, and, uh -huh. and now you can see that at Pirates, you know, because I want us to overlap to Pirates now. What happened to them uh, after watching their game? Because Pirates was playing well. They were really uh -huh. playing well. But the same old story that we have been talking about, no goals, no goals, no goals, no strikers at, at Pirates. Um, so, yeah, can you say something about that? I, I, think, I, think, I think 
on touching the, on the sundowns issue, that's so great. Mm -hmm. versus Holland Pirates. I think what where sundowns sepa is sepa is separated from other teams. It's sundowns have an identity in terms of how they play, which they don't compromise. Now, when you have an identity in terms of, of your style of play, you then recruit players based on how they would fit, you know, in terms of playing going forward. Sundowns plays plays. It's, it's a team that plays football, you know. They need players who are comfortable on the ball more than anything. For instance, God forbid, you can't bring in the Sundowns because it's not comfortable on the ball. Yeah, you know, I'm just true. thinking him based on what happened last weekend. Now with Pirates, I would say they they don't have an identity, you know, in terms of their, in terms of how they play. Whatever they buy, it's emotional pride. It's either maybe that player, they, they, they are worried that it might, it might be signed by Cape Town City, it might be signed by Pirates, it might be signed by Kaiser Chief. Let's take this one, Cheaper United. You know, like people are saying, Super Sport is Sundance feeder team. It's Cheaper United is Pirates feeder team. So it's, it's emotional bias. They don't buy players that they don't need. They, 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 they need. They are buying for the sake of buying. Maybe they are buying for the sake of pleasing inverted commas, their supporters. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's not working. You've got quality dead pirates as opposed to quality. quality. Right. And, let's, and, let's, let's move on, Jimmy. Let me get uh, Shakes. I'm talking about pirates now. Uh, because pirates, uh, I'm worried about in the manner they recruit. All right? Uh, let, let, let's go back. Pirates will also bring coaches that we don't even know. Eh? It used to be Kaiser Chiefs. All right? Uh, they brought so many coaches, your uh, Bondorego, you, you can name them. I mean, even the, the gentleman who have just come in, there's nothing wrong about him. Um, Chiefs used to use that, your Jeff Butler's and so on. But now, if, if, if I sit closely with Pirates, I think they need to look at their recruitment strategy. Um, starting from the technical side of it uh, to the players. That's my opinion. I may be wrong. And then Chase, what's your take? Yeah. Yeah, possibly. I think my 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 colleague is, is right in, in a sense, you know. Uh, um, um, a team needs an identity, Prasobri, uh, you know, it makes it easier for them to identify the types of players to sign, you know, but uh, at Pirates, you don't, you don't, and 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 the likes of your Dugu Dugu, your Chief Boy, and your Gifty Remy were coming, and then there was a very strong Pirates, you could see yeah. what was happening yeah. there, you know, and so, uh, yeah. when, when they had yeah. that, but, but now you just see signings and then, and, and you, it's just not it's not working for them but you know they played well and not to be too critical uh, uh, they played well and, and and they just couldn't score a goal you know uh, uh, on the day um, against TS galaxy mm, mm, mm. Medise, I, I saw you that you agree with shakes and then I don't know how do you see it and but let me put it clear guys when we it's not about critics per se it's about mm -hmm. you know being the eyes. Uh, the leadership of Orlando Pirates and Pirates fans, they mustn't see what we are saying as if we are criticizing them. Uh, yeah. and, and forget, uh, and again, as I said earlier on, we may be wrong. Eh? So they must just take it as, um, how can I put it? As constructive, people, constructive criticism. Constructive let, criticism. Yeah. Let them look at themselves yeah, and ask themselves, because Shakes has mentioned something yeah. very important about yeah. the time of Dugudus, uh, the times of Vilagazi and so on. Yeah. Remember yeah. during that time, it was the time of Palacios. He is now, ever since Palacios is not in the picture now, uh, showing that uh, parents need a person like that one. Ndise? No, Prasopri, uh, look. Uh, yes, we are not criticizing anyone. Uh, it's a constructive... Uh, criticism, as, as my colleagues are saying. Uh, remember, yesterday I was talking with a, a, a reliable source in the Kaiser Chiefs camp, talking about these things that you are talking about. Let's make it an example. Sundance is a typical example, as we are saying. Those people, you are correct, they've got identity. 
let's talk about this model. Where did they get that book? You ask yourself. I mean, I mean, really, what baboning, baboning, mumudao, those people. But they brought him here. They brought him here. Look at what is, is he doing today. Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates, once you score them, once you score them with the fluke gold or whatever, they sign you. Irrespective of what, they sign you. You see, another, another thing in the Bucks camp, there's no leadership again. There's no leadership. They play well. They play well. You can't take it. I'm, I'm sorry to say this. You can't take Maela as a captain. I mean, really, you need somebody to be posed. You need somebody to, to be talking to the players. Same as Kaiser Chiefs. They are, they are, they are, they are doing a, a similar thing, you see. That is why we are going to get more problems in the team. Now, the senior, uh, um, the senior, um, yeah. uh, 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 what uh, um, is it Sheikh who brought the issue of Palacios? Uh, although he was not saying it, uh, in, 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 yes. but he was referring to all the players that were brought by Palacios. Don't you think that now is, is evident? That now a person like Palacios who is used to recruit players for Orlando Pirates is not there anymore. Um, oh. Do you think so? Yeah, look, you can't you can't you can't, you can't replace uh, a, 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 a person who is. Um, it's never, in fact, it's never easy to replace a person who is talented. Too. We we don't even know who's replaced Palacios. That's that, that's another issue because. As things stand, I'm, I mean, I'm talking as, as 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 a football lover, and I read articles where people are saying there's so much interference at Pirates that everyone wants wants his, uh, their voice to be heard at the end of the day, and I think that's also another problem that you you know you get a certain official wanting certain players, another one wanting certain players, and 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 I, I can't put that blame on the coach because the coach is new in the country, so surely someone has signed players for the coach. To start with, now, and I, I think um, what I also saw on yeah. Sunday, it's also the body language of Pirates, of Pirates players. I, I don't think, you know, it's 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 a third game into the season, but for me, these guys are not motivated. These guys, they don't show, you know, the willingness to play for the badge. People are just playing for the sake of, you know, honoring that game and. I don't. We don't know what is happening there. Whether there is problems, they are not happy or what. I, I'm. I'm not sure. But for me, the body language that I saw on Saturday against Chippa United, you know, it, it wasn't right for, for a big team, a big team like Pirates. I mean, I could compare that to a team like Kaiser Chiefs who are, who are rebuilding. You, you could see, you know, the the, the 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 zeal and the push from the Kaiser Chiefs players, even though they lost. But with Pirates, you know. It was like, you know, it's one of those games where they have to, and especially after Chippa Ch 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 scored that goal, there was never a sense of agents to say, you know, we need to equalize and all that. I I'm not sure what is happening there. The last one, you know? on, on Shakes, the last one. Uh, what's your take? Uh, you, you spoke about leadership. What's your take about, was it a right move for Pirates not to give a pitcher a two-year contract? Uh, they, they were offering him one-year contract. And now that's an experience that has been let go. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> and, it, and it, it's it's very it's very valuable uh, leadership, uh, Prasobri. You know, the, the 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 part of leadership is very important in a football team. It's very important, you know, to have a um, a leader like that. Even just in the change room, to have somebody like that. If, uh, yeah. uh, uh, person is not even playing, but to have that person uh, um, in the change room, it, it's oh. very important for the players. So oh. uh, it plays a big role. I remember I, I, I had a leader uh, 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 in my team, uh, Benson Chongo. He made such a huge difference to the team, Maya. you know, to how the guys were motivated. All right, Shakes is struggling. Maya. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, definitely people don't understand it's not only about his, his touch all right shakes i think we are struggling with the the network all right guys we we move on quickly uh, I'm going to move to the message special as the last segment of the show. 
uh, because you don't want the show to be too long. And yes. then, um, yeah, but prior to that, uh, it's happening in Europe, guys. It looks as if Man City will, will wrap up the league again. I see that Liverpool, they played draw again last night. And then uh, remember, they've started with draws Liverpool. So Man City, they are on fire. And then uh, Man United, I don't Aye. know. Aye. There, there, there's a whole lot Aye. of confusion there. Aye. Uh, people are complaining. Uh, people are Aqua. saying, yeah, yeah, that's Aqua. terrible. Arsenal, Arsenal is showing the 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 the, 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 the rejuvenation. They are rejuvenated. And so on Man United, before I leave, I, I don't know whether you guys are aware that the fans, because they are playing Liverpool, the upcoming game, they want to stage a walkout, a walkout. So I don't know whether it will help because it's like a, there is a campaign now of ensuring that the Blazers must go. Uh, you know, I don't know who's going to buy it. So uh, I don't know whether the problem, but that's, that's a subject for another day. So yeah, it's happening. And then... Uh, at PSG too, there are problems. Uh, we hear that um, Mbappe is not happy with uh, Neymar, and then the Neymar. Neymar and Messi they have team up against him. They say he doesn't pass. I don't know about that, eh? uh, but passing is another thing that I've noticed. Mbappe doesn't pass, um, but he's the, he's that type of a player. When he gets the ball, he wants to go forward. But I think the issue was exacerbated by the fact that there was a penalty. He took the penalty and then he, he, he missed the penalty. And then after missing the penalty, and now there was another penalty. When there was another penalty, uh, Neymar was ready to take that penalty. And then uh, now, you know, apparently Mbappe wanted to take the penalty, apparently in his contract. It is said he should take penalties. I don't know. Mm. I don't know whether uh, PSG, uh, they are going to have it right. And then uh, remember they want the Champions League. Um, with all these problems, I hope that it will be resolved uh, sooner. And we are told that Mbappe has already instructed PSG that they should offload the Neymar. I don't know. If it's true, it's going to destabilize the team going forward. I look at Barcelona playing... They don't look like a, an oil machine. Uh, you know, you know, they were showing good sign. The first game of uh, um, uh, Lewandowski, I was not impressed uh, at all. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. But, uh, you know, this kind of situation, they want a cool head, just like Kaza Chiefs. They need to be cool-headed. And I hope Arthur is able to handle that. But I'm happy the way Arthur and, and Kaiser Jr. are handling the situation. And then, guys, let me move quickly to the Messi special. Uh, Messi has already blessed Benzema. He said Benzema deserves the, the Ballon d'Or. I don't know whether you, you are aware of that. And then um, whether what, what is your take about that? But let me move quickly. And then I don't know whether you have noticed, in 1986... When um, Rona, I mean uh, Maradona, was not nominated for the Ballon d'Or, could not make a cut for the Ballon d'Or, he won the World Cup. So that people are making comparison. Remember that Messi did not make the Ballon d'Or cut this time, since from yeah. 2005. And, 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 and then people are saying uh, maybe, maybe this is the year that Messi is gonna take uh, the, the the what do you call the the, the World Cup. So those are some of the news that we are picking them up um, um, outside. And now also, we also hear, uh, do you know Abu Trika, ne? Yeah. The Egyptian. Yeah. yeah. Abu Trika, Abu Trika yeah. says, uh, yeah, he says Messi will leave the World Cup come 100 days. 100 days. He says, that's my wish. You know, I've, I don't know whether guys have you noticed that this guy, Almost the majority of players are wishing him good luck. Uh, he's he's a one person who's very very lucky. And then Marco Varati, this is what he says about Messi. He said Messi is very skillful, not selfish. He's a hero, loved even uh, by those who do not support Barcelona or Paris. He's the best player in history. So those are the comments 
that we get from um, uh, other people in uh, the overseas. So what's your take about the little that I shared? Do you really think that Messi will win the World Cup? Uh, yes, but. No, let me start with my team. Yeah. United. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, we are struggling. Yeah. I'm not sure it's the, that era of uh, Moyes. I know we are struggling. <laughs> and it was, it was, you know, <laughs> it was bad for me. Imagine you lo on, on local football, you lost four. International, you lost four. It was bad for me. And honestly, I never had a nice weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe my high blood, and I'll need to point mm -hmm. I'm That's sure awesome. Shakes is with you there. Shakes is with you there. Oh, it's in the United. Never, never. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'm not okay. I can't even come. I can't even comment about that. Yeah. Yeah. I might you no, know, no. There yeah. is this this guy. They call it the expensive defender, mm. Maguire. Uh, but from, yeah. No, but from the no. Maguire. Yeah. 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 Oh, but, uh, but from Dimo, no, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, we've got we've got a good coach. We've yeah. got a good coach, honestly. Yeah. But we yeah. need we need players that they must they must our players they must they must show up. Yeah. Okay, guys, up, let, yeah. let's talk about that one next time. Let's move on quickly. Um, okay, let me let, because uh, the time is working against us. This is in a nutshell that what Messi has done in his uh, career. The most successful Barcelona player, all-time top goal scorer for Argentina, uh, only seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, only six-time uh, Golden Boot uh, shoe winner, uh, score. A score of 73 goals in one season, a score of 91 goals in one year. This is Lionel mm -hmm. Messi. This is a, and then I always argue, Shakes doesn't like me for saying this. Uh, don't compare Messi with Ronaldo, man. The two are in different class. Messi is about nah. Messi. Messi is not a player, he's an alien, as uh, PK would say. And then uh, look, he's now chasing the 43 titles of. Daniel Vess. And, and remember, Daniel Vess is already on his retirement. Messi still have about two or three years to go. At 43, for a player like Messi, it's nothing. Guys, it was nice doing a show with you. Much appreciated. I really appreciate. And then uh, good luck to Sandawana. Guys, do you think Sandawana is going to take the league again this year? Uh, it's too early. I it's, oh, it's, obvious, it's obvious, bro. <laughs> I I you don't even have to ask that question. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think we spoke about uh, so, so to eleven. Yeah. Um, me, me I, would, I would use the word uh, coalition. You know, yeah, change yeah. the chiefs and the need to come together. Yeah. Some coalition. Yeah. All right. Maybe all just right. Maybe all right. Stop, all right. Stop, all right. <laughs> Um, did you say, say something quickly before I close? No, but all I can say, let's let's make our show so so popular, yeah. so that everybody they can they can follow us. Yeah. Let's make sure we go around. Yeah, yeah. we are okay. having. A let's let's ask people to subscribe and like, yeah. and that's what will make us grow. Thank you very much, Shakes. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you very much, uh, G Man. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, for Mudise, uh, uh, Kaiser, Kaiser Chiefs, Kosi for life. <laughs> I'm not for life. Hello, everybody. My name is the Sobre Boys, one fancy from a TBR Solution. TBR Solution is a financial company that helps people to be financially savvy. I'm sure these days you are aware that prices are very up in terms of petrol, in terms of goods and services, prices are very, very high. Now, these days, we are on a campaign to help those members of GPF or government employees, especially if you are 55 years old or above and you are contemplating to resign or go on pension in three months' time, give us a call or drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you back so that we help you to get your money expeditiously, you know, as compared to sometimes people get their money after a long time. We will then transfer your money 
from GPF to Allen Gray, whom we have a relationship with. And the good news is, once the money has been transferred, you will choose how much you want to earn. If you happen to pass on, your spouse will also get the same amount. Then if it happens that both of you passes on, you would have appointed or selected uh, beneficiaries. It could either be your children or anyone else. And there's nothing like age limited that they must be 22 or below. Even if they're above 22, they'll be able to get the, 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 the inheritance from you. So that's how flexible it is. And then um, I know that sometimes people, they worry about medical aid and all that. We also have with other partners who assist you to get a medical aid. So if you want to learn more and get more information pertaining to that, just drop us a WhatsApp. We'll therefore come back to you. I thank you.